Well, all right, guys, I am back to do a video on the Fight Night Round 4 downloadable content. Uh, there's about four or five new boxers that are that they have down uh, released for download. And uh, I believe it's uh, 400 Microsoft points uh, to get this content. And I'll quickly show you the new boxers that, that are available now. <clears throat> so for the heavyweight division, uh, you have uh, Vladimir Klitschko, Vitaly Klitschko, George Foreman, the older George Foreman, and uh, actually this is my Riddick bow, the corn rolls. But all right, let's go to the uh, let's see if there are any new ones. In, uh, I think middleweight we have we have James Tony, and in welterweight, of course, we finally have the real Oscar De La Hoya. And I believe that's it uh, in terms of the boxes that they uh, have for download. So uh, I'm gonna do a heavyweight fight between I don't know. Let's let's go. Uh, let's see. I don't know who the hell I wanna fight with. Let's see. Frank Bruno. Chris Bird. I tell you what. Let's uh let's do Holyfield against the older George Foreman. Six three two fifty? I thought George was bigger than that. Uh, they also have in this downloadable content, they also have now the buttons, uh, the punch buttons. So for those of you who were upset that they removed the, uh, the buttons for punching, that now is an option for the control scheme back in the game. So if you don't have Fight Night, you can go pick it up now to rest assured that you can play it like you used to play it. I myself prefer the analog sticks. Uh, what else did they add in? Uh, some extra clothing, uh, some new shoes, trunks, and gloves. And I think that I think that may be it. I can't really remember right now. All right, George. Damn, seventy-six and five. Big George. And in this fight, guys, I am fighting against Evander Holyfield. So, I probably will get on. Haven't played Fight Night in a while. But I figured since I finally got this new content that I would give it another run. Although this game is awesome. I don't know why I haven't been playing it. Well, actually, I do. But you'll find that out in another vid. All right. All right, let's go, Holyfield. Sometimes you get caught up when you're fighting a fighter with those great outstanding physical attributes like fullness and height, reach advantage. You start to think that only one way is the way to go. You gotta force yourself to work your way in. I remind myself and I remember. And I was, uh, uh, I've been playing on champion uh, ship difficulty or champion difficulty. And um I noticed that it seems like it's a little cheap at times because the CPU, they seem to always get these these flash knockdowns all the time. I mean, it's like they'll just punch you and all of a sudden you're, you're stunned. And that, it seems kind of unfair. Uh, but I, I think I did find the reason uh, why the CPU is able to do that or a quick reason why. Uh, a lot of people, when they you fight with this game, they, they try to block so they can get the, the counter. Like that right there, but I missed my shot. They try to use the counter as a way to get the big shot. But really, if you use the bob and weave, like I just did right there, if you bob and weave, and uh, you make a miss, and then you throw a punch behind it, that's where you really get your stun knockdowns. And uh, 
Oh, you, you, it's when you really stun them with the one punch. It, it, it seems to work out a lot easier that way. Real deal showing you a little defensive skill there. I don't move away from that punch. But actually, for this uh, fight right here, I am fighting on, uh, I think, the pro difficulty. I bumped it back down just because I haven't played in a while. Big block by Big George. So um, hopefully I can uh, try to talk through this and give you guys some tips on um, on how to uh, maximize your fight. I wish there was a way to bypass that one. I, mean, I know what to do in the corner now. I don't know why you still have to read the tips. All right, so. Really what you want to do before you uh, fight in this game is uh, look at look at the strengths or look at the ratings of the, your boxer and the rating of, the, of your opponent. Find out what their weakness is and attack it. Um, and I didn't do that starting out. I didn't do that starting out, um, but um, George Foreman, he's pretty, he's pretty solid all the way around. But what I will tell you, uh, a way to really uh, what sport do you think can produce the best boxers? Well, believe it or not, basketball. Everybody would say football. What you really want to do is, is, is try your best to go for the body. You know, you want to you want to still go for the head when the, when the opportunity presents itself. But uh, ideally, you want to try to you know, go for the body because it does two things. Uh, it'll slow them down and also make their punches uh, have less pop to them. So you won't take as much damage. So look at that. You look at George Foreman's stamina. When I hit him in the stomach, his stamina goes down quite a bit with each successive punch. I'm gonna try to do some bob and weaving now. See that? And you can do bob and weaving a, a lot of different ways. Uh, you can hold the left trigger and move the left stick to, you know, do, do like that. Or you can uh, do a uh, downward uh, swing in motion, a swing uh, down up to halfway. So like swing the left analog stick like six to three, and he'll do like that. And that's the way that you can get in and uh, close close the gap and uh, punch. All right, so now we're in the corner. Um, typically, like I said, when you want to punch your opponent in the in the body to take the stamina away because it takes uh, their punches won't have as much power. Well, the same goes for you when you're in the corner. You want to always always focus on your stamina uh, if your health is pretty good. So my stamina is still high. I mean, really, I don't even have to use anything right now because I don't think I'm in any danger. Uh, but my damage is a little high for it to be the only the second. Uh, for we only for us only to fall two rounds. So I'll probably go over here and, and take. Oh shit! Well, I won't be doing it. All right. And, you, and also, you got to uh, learn not to become predictable. Uh, sometimes we kind of get used to doing the same kind of button, you know, punch combination, but you got to mix it up. Because if I just sit here and throw, you know, right uppercuts and right hooks all the time, George is going to catch on to that and he's going to start blocking that, especially when I get a. Uh... Oh, look at that. Hit me with a haymaker. And this is the time where you don't be afraid to hold on. Super two punch combo by Big. But you also want to watch your health, and that's why I have the uh, bars down at the bottom of the screen again, because um, you know you can really uh, gauge the status of yourself and of the, your opponent. And you got to set your jab up too. That, that's important. De you know, depending on the boxer that you're using, you got to establish a jab. 
Any, I mean, that's just like the, the basic fundamentals of boxing. See that? The jab opened up all counter combinations for you. George Foreman blocks that punch. He got hits right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by George See, George has, he has very good blocking defense. Very good. So it's going to be kind of hard to get in on George. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Foreman dismisses that with a block. And we come to the end of the round, and he...